what is going on YouTube, 1LEX, I'm here. And in today's little video, I'm going to talk about something that is actually prudent this time of year. And that is riding while it's hot. I know some of you are daily riders. And while I know that you guys have a much better understanding of riding in the heat, those of you that kind of do like I do, right on the weekends and stuff like that, uh, may not be as privy to how to really handle riding in the heat. Uh, so it, it can actually put us in a bad position to where we kind of miss signs of when we're overheating and stuff like that. So today I kind of want to touch on little things to keep you safe while you're riding when it's really hot out like I said it's, it's at least 105 today and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning so it's gonna be a hot one so first thing is your preparation specifically the day before if you know you're gonna do a group ride the next day or you know you want to ride the next day what you want to do is really consume a good amount of water and electrolytes and stuff like that throughout the day prior to the riding and the reason for this is if you try you think you're going to start first thing in the morning and be good to go you're you're way behind the curve you're just not going to be ready for the heat that you're going to encounter and then the physical exertion you're going to go through so you want to prep by drinking as much water as you can the day prior and really kind of try to stay away from alcoholic beverages and stuff like that later in the day because uh, obviously that dehydrates you and you just kind of be smart about it if you drank a good bit the night before you're going to be pretty dehydrated for the, the early morning that you ride so be very aware of that also if you decide one of the people that do bar hopping as you ride which is uh, I think really stupid. I highly, highly encourage not to do that, especially in the heat. In Arizona, it's a very dry heat, which means it sucks the water out of you, and you almost don't become aware of how dehydrated you actually are. So that's the first bit: preparation. Make sure you drink a good bit of water to make sure you're you're hydrated prior to even starting. The other bit is when you have a chance to stop and there is water do so get some water you can never if you don't think you're thirsty now and you're like oh well, I'm not thirsty now so I'm not drink no once you get thirsty it's too late already you're you're behind the curve and you're already gonna be in trouble drink water when it's accessible to you get it as often as possible um, Really, if you can, bring a backpack and put some water bottles in it. I don't do that. Uh, well, I used to when I would do 400 mile trips in the summer. Uh, when I lived up in Phoenix, I would bring two, three bottles of water with me and then I'd get another one when I stop for gas. You know, just kind of keep it going so I just don't run out. Kind of uh, prepare a little bit ahead. You know it's going to be hot, so if you don't think the heat's going to be a problem, you're sorely mistaken. It, it always is. Your bikes get hot. You exert energy, and the sun will sap out all of that water that you had in you. It will just evaporate it right off your skin. Even wearing a jacket, and that's my next point, is wear gear. A lot of people think that when you wear gear, you're going to overheat. The reality is, when you don't have the sun on your skin, your skin can regulate your body temperature a lot better. Granted, you don't want super tight fitting clothes, like on your arms and chest and stuff like that. You want a little bit loose, you want them to breathe. So, if you don't wear a jacket, at worst, wear a nice loose long sleeve shirt to keep the sun off you, a light colored, obviously. Because it will make a world of difference. It's like you think about it, the people that live in very hot, desolate climates, like in the desert of the Middle East, they're completely covered up. And it's because they understand covering up 
keeps the sun off your key actually keeps you cooler. And uh, nowadays, a lot of the material that we have is moisture wicking, so it'll allow your skin to breathe. That's a big, big component to staying cool is the breathability of the material that you wear. The heat is no joke, people. It really isn't. And to be on a machine like this and dehydrate and dizzy and everything else is just really, really, really a recipe for disaster. So those of you that ride during the summer, really keep in mind, you know, how long your trip's gonna be, really plan out. And because it can be as dangerous as when people go hiking and get lost and end up needing rescue in the summertime. It's, it's, it's that bad, honestly. People will die doing this. And you just don't want to be one of those people. So with that, you all have a good one. It's a beautiful Father's Day. You guys enjoy yourselves, ride safe. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Still subscribe, there might be something you do like. Y'all have a good one. Later.